Rosa here and welcome to 4G Systems. In this video, we're gonna cover basic servo control using the Forduino and its touching capability. First, let's try controlling a single servo using the knob widget. Later on, we're gonna use two servos to create a two-axis homemade arm. Now let's talk about the basics of servo. Generally, servo motors consist of a DC motor that is attached to a potentiometer and a control circuit. The position of the motor shaft can be controlled by sending a PWM signal to the controller. The following images show how to control the angle of a servo using pulses of different widths. As you can see, the wider the pulse width you send, the more the angle the servo rotates. For this project, the following items are used. The Forduino, a micro USB cable to program the Forduino, servos, the servos used in this project have varying torques and sizes, some jumper wires, and breadboard. Now let's try connecting the servo to the Forduino. In our code, the control pin of the servo is connected to pin 9 of the Forduino. For added protection, you can add a resistor. There, you also added the power source. Now let's see how to program our project. In this video, I'm going to use the Workshop 4 IDE. Take note that the Forduino is compatible with the Arduino IDE. But programming using Workshop 4 environments will make it easier for you to add graphics into your Forduino. This project has been done in 4D Workshop Extended Graphics Environment. Okay, let's get started. You can find the complete code for this project at our website. Simply open the Forduino project. Most lines of the code in this project are part of the skeleton code. It adds the necessary libraries and enables communication between the Atmel controller and the Picasso GPU, which is being done by the IDE. While the display serial is used in hardware communication between the Forduino processor and the LCD. Now let's go to the setup. This project includes the servo.h library of the Arduino and the xypos2degree.h for the servo. Most of these lines are used to reset the Forduino for proper synchronization. It also contains the lines of code for initializing and resetting the Forduino Wi-Fi communication. And all you need to do is simply uncomment this section if you wish to use the Wi-Fi in your project. While these lines of code is in here, ensure that the SD card is mounted. Also, make sure that the files in the SD card have the same file names in the file load image control. While this part shows the initial output images we want to see, first we clear the screen, then display the widgets one by one as shown in the YCWIG area. Lastly, assign the control pin of the servo. In this project, it is attached to pin 9. Finally, for the main loop. In the loop function, first we will check if there's an input of being pressed or moved being detected by the display. If the knob widget is rotated, the code will execute the move i knob function. Then the x, y to pause degree function will activate and convert the x and y values to corresponding degrees. All that left is to display the new degrees to the display and use my servo that right to control the servo. Now connect your Forduino to the PC. Make sure you are connected to the right COM port. If you are sure with the COM port, then simply click on the Compile and Load button. This will compile and load the code into your Forduino. And you will see that the LCD will be similar to that of the YC week. what you see is what you get area. And now for the demo. As you can see, the server's rotation is controlled using the knob widget. An additional LED digits widget is also included in the project to display the current value of the knob. Okay, now that's done, I'm going to show you another simple demo that you can use with two servos and the Forduino. For the Forduino, I have created two knob widgets to control each servo. One servo is up to 120 degrees and one only up to 90 degrees. The code is mostly the same and some parts were only duplicated. Okay, now let's try. For the next part, let's have a little fun by doing a basic application of servos. For this application, let's try to control a two-axis arm made from simple materials. For this project, most of the materials were recycled and most are done by simple means of using cutters and tape. And that's it for this simple video on how to control the servo using the Forduino. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you're interested for more fun stuff, please check out our YouTube channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching.